Dear Mothers, I see you. This has been an exceptionally challenging season of life for us and our children. In a matter of days, we went from our own personal versions of normal to a new reality that we are still navigating. We don't have the experience to fall back on and reassure our children that when this happened before, everything turned out fine. Because this hasn't happened in our lifetimes. Overnight, your mom duty stepped up to include teacher and counselor too. You've navigated Google Classroom and relearned how to conjugate a verb in Spanish. You've traded books, puzzles, and resources with neighbors, and you've incorporated a fractions lesson into baking cookies. You have eased your children's anxiety and their disappointments as all of the routine disappeared with an abrupt halt, not a gradual fade. No school, no practices, no games, no rehearsals, no graduations, no recitals, no vacations, no proms, no birthday parties, no sleepovers, no play dates, no playgrounds, no visits to see grandma and grandpa. It's a whole lot of no. But you've also said yes a lot too. Why yes, you can stay in pajamas all day and you can build a huge pillow fort. Yes, you can have dessert before dinner and you can stay up late. Yes, we can foster a shelter animal and you can jump in rain puddles. Yes, we can plant a garden together and you can color the whole street with sidewalk chalk. Yes, I can make you pancakes for breakfast and yes, we will all eat dinner together tonight. Because yes, I have time. We'll never be the same after all this, and maybe in some ways it will be for the better. Maybe we don't need to be so busy. Maybe less is more. Maybe our grandparents had it right all along. There have been tears, but there have also been a lot of smiles and laughter. Children cling to what is comfortable and safe, and that is you. Whenever this ends and we all begin to emerge, the kids will be okay, because you got them through this. Happy Mother's Day.